Whoa, I am uh, ooh, a little groggy, a little hungover. My voice is completely shot, but I'm just gonna go exploring uh, Edinburgh today and see how many photos I can take of this beautiful city. Let's go outside. Oh, I sound like a different person. I sound like the audio in my recent two community videos where it's like, whoa, what happened to Evan's voice? <laughs> Glitchy. Wow, that's very humorous. Hu humor, humor. All right, well, it is getting uh, increasingly more difficult to uh, try and vlog and take photos at the same time, just because I'm, I'm taking photos with a different camera, doing with this one. This one's got an ND filter on it, so I, the video looks good, but this 16 to 35 lens is also really good for this type of shot, which is really pretty. Also, this is a bit overexposed. Look, I brought back the sky. You're welcome. Uh, for those wondering, I really like this shot because there's a nice S curve. You see, like, if I, if I raise this up a little bit, uh, you might just see the line. It zigzags that way, and then you get a little bit of the, the castle there. Well, this is pretty cool and new. I thought that said cave town. No. Uh, I don't know what this flower exhibit is, but boy, this is yet again pretty good. Edinburgh Castle from all angles. I go about finding places honestly just Google stuff there's so much free information on the internet uh, but also I like to look at Google Maps find my focal point obviously gonna be Edinburgh Castle for today and then I just kind of look at all the side streets that might point in that same direction so that way I can make sure if I'm gonna get a photo I can get a really nice one with stuff in the foreground and the background uh, but at this point I'm now headed to the circus street it's supposedly a really aesthetic street and a fountain Ross Fountain Now, originally, I was very excited to say this is the first time I've been to Edinburgh in which it didn't rain. But I can hear it. I can see it on the map. That's, that's a castle, not the rain. Rain's coming, all right? Every time. I've not been to Edinburgh and it hasn't rained. But hey, you know what? It's still pretty. It's actually pretty beautiful, all right? Oh, erected. I'm a child. Wow. I've, every time I've been here has been fall as well. little coffee pit stop and lunch because I'm starving Ta-da! this is the sunshine over Stockton it's a very loud street it looks it looks pretty beautiful I'm very excited oh my gosh fork knife I play fork knife and if you guys are interested in knowing uh, the place I went to is called pantry and it was, it was really delicious. I actually was very impressed. It was such a hearty, flavorful, delicious meal. I'm now in Circus Lane, an area I've been trying to get to, because look at this. Look, look how pretty this is. Look how overexposed this is. There we go. Look at that. That just looks, wow. Imagine living in one of these houses and being like, I come from Scotland. And I don't sound like I'm Scottish for some reason. I sound like Northern Blood. I don't know what my accent is at this point. Lane, as you can see, is uh, kind of crazy. I expected a lot more people to be here, considering how beautiful it is. I just really love how the, the road, like, naturally is going to be curving this way. You've got the focal point right there with that beautiful clock tower. Bam, there's like a lantern. Whew, that's a really beautiful area, honestly. So many cool little spots in Edinburgh today. All right, and now I finally made it to the bottom of uh, Carton Hill. Carton? All right, so now I've made it to the bottom of Carlton Hill. I'm gonna be hiking up for like, I don't know, it's just oh, it's so far. I've been walking all day, time to climb a mountain. But the view, it's gonna be worth it.
So I'm definitely not doing Arthur's seat today, way too exhausted, so I got myself a tenants, gonna get some haggis, and uh, end up day in Edinburgh with a bang. <sighs> Been a lovely day, lovely day. All right, let's uh, cut into this haggis. Oh my God, neeps and tatties. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god, it's so good. And no Scottish meal can be complete without a bit of deep fried Mars bar. Oh my god, look at that. It is, um, I'm th thank you, yes please, goodbye. Cockburn Street, but it's pronounced Coburn. So I have to like, go this way. And then there's a glass hallway to get to my room. Here we go. Now another turn, this way, this way. Oh, yep, here we go, all right. Just, you know, this is, do, 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 do. Go in, Oop. miss the turn, there we go. Look at that. Wowee, it's glass. They put a rug, kind of ruins the vibe, but hey. Go on to the room. I've got this little room, I've got a lot of mess, and uh, look at this, it's pretty nice. The view is pretty good too, I'm very surprised. Oh, ran into the wall, <laughs> the window. Uh, not bad. Oh, and look, the, the fish channel's back on. Love that for me. Oh my gosh, I am so exhausted. Uh, tomorrow, I don't have a full day in Edinburgh. My voice is so shot. Tomorrow, I'm going to be going to the museum and then going back to Liverpool where I'm living. So uh, let's just snap forward to tomorrow. Oh, good morning. Well, I've got to head to the museum and then head to the station. Just wanted to show you behind this curtain. This is the view from my hotel. What? I'll just hit the window there. Look at this. Look at that beautiful S-curve. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Absolutely stunning. So, so, so pretty. You wouldn't expect a beautiful S-curve like this outside your window with Edinburgh in the background. Wow. Wowee. This place is massive. Whoa. Definitely gonna get some sick photos in that area. Or that area. Well, no visit to Edinburgh is complete, especially if you're here to take photos. Without this beautiful section here, wow, of the Museum of Scotland. It's gonna learn about Scottish history, but also just appreciate the architecture, because wowee, it's just so grand. also has a rooftop terrace, so you can see. I wish it was just a little bit taller, but um, pretty nice view. Wow, just Edinburgh is so pretty. I, I would recommend mostly going up the hills to get a good view, but uh, this is still nice. Nice little break from learning about Scotland. Nice socks. You know, I've been enjoying this exhibit too much. There's so much to see. I learned a lot about Romans. I learned a lot about sea life. Um, but I just realized my train leaves in like 35 minutes and I still have to get my suitcase back from the hotel. Oh my God. What a, what a good museum. Gotta go. I feel like I barely got a time to see much of anything except for the, I was trying to learn about the history of Scotland, Roman empire and stuff. Uh, this is a massive museum. Thank you. Thank you very much. Back in Liverpool, one more meal before I finally stop being so exhausted. Mowgli Street Food. Hello, you made it. You got you some food, you wanna try it? Yes, please. Oh, good, go for it. There we go. Thanks for the free rice. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, at long last, I'm back in my apartment in Liverpool. I am very, very, very exhausted. Just very exhausted. And uh, it's been a really nice day.
or two, you know, crazy good wedding. Also, Edinburgh is so beautiful. If you get a chance, please do check it out. Uh, I'll put links in the description for any place that I visited today if you want to possibly check out the same thing when you visit. Anyway, if you want, you can watch my previous travel vlog here or stay tuned. We're going to have weather of 26 degrees this week. So I'm going to be exploring Liverpool, going to the old Crosby, the Formby, some, some parks. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.